and let us all that we can to build a better future. People being consistent. Now, mistakes can happen. You cannot control who will donate to your campaign. Uh, however, you got to know how to read the room, especially in this day and age where uh, the remnants of the Bernie Sanders movement, the people who actually left when Bernie Sanders decided to be a cuck, and everyone else across the political spectrum, because I'm including everyone, because I've spoken to plenty of libertarians and, yeah, surprise, surprise, conservatives, even Trump supporters who are against money and politics. You see, when you talk to regular people, we all agree that, yes, our Congress is corrupt. Our politicians are corrupt. Our entire electoral system is pathetic. And we here at Hardlands Media, and I'm going to speak on behalf of myself and my colleague Daniel, we were part of Wolfpack way, way, way long time ago. And we are supporters of getting money out of politics. Money in politics is crippling our, dem our I was going to say democracy, our republic. Okay. We're, let's be clear. The United States is a republic, but however, however, we're an oligarchy. So that's the real truth of it. However, I'm against, I am against money in politics. And you got to know how to read the room. And Dr. Cornell West got money from a very questionable individual named Harlan Crow. I have an article from ProPublic from ProPublica that talks about um, his connections, the 20 years of connections to Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, and how Thomas was treated very well by Harlan Crow. A lot of money, a lot of money. So first, first let's 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 talk about it. I want to pull up this uh, tweet here. And it's from Cornell West himself. And uh, it doesn't sit too well with me. As an independent candidate and a free black man, I accept donations within the limits of no PACs or corporate interest groups uh, that have deep strings attached. I am unbought and unbossed. Despite my deep political differences with Brother Harlan Crow, who is an anti-Trump Republican, uh, okay, but he has a career of buying off politicians for his own needs, I've known him in a non-political setting for some years, and I pray for his precious family. I find it hypocritical for those who highlight his $3,300 donation to my campaign, but can't say a mumbling word about the pack-driven uh, billion dollars to support the genocidal attack in Gaza sponsored uh, by their candidate. I'm fighting for truth, justice, and love. Onward, Dr. West. I want to be clear here. Back during the 2020 <clears throat> election cycle, a lot of progressives, independents, free thinkers, quote unquote, went to bat for Joe Biden, including yourself. I understand. I understand people are afraid of a Trump presidency or a second one, but a lot of people endorsed and supported him. Okay. A lot of people said that. A lot of people did that. And there are people who are screaming from the rooftop. About, about Joe Biden and his hypocrisy. I want to pull up this other tweet as well. How sad the perceptions so quickly triumph over the truth in our decadent culture. This holds in our major catastrophe in the Middle East, where the rich humanity of Palestinians is rendered invisible. It also holds at home in the minor scandal about Harlan Crow's donation to my campaign. He is a staunch anti-Republican who has never forget collections of tyrants, Stalin, Mao, Hitler, and many others, and patriotic collections of Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln. Does this disqualify him from contributing to my campaign? Most people holler yes. Yes. I say no. As a jazz man, I, I listened and decided to give the money back to Brother Harlan, but still state the truth. That doesn't bode well. And the statement, uh, it sucks. And he's running as an independent, by the way, okay? And Dr. Cornell West running as an independent. On the one hand, I want to be clear here, I'm for the abolition of all political parties. But in order to run as a successful independent, we have to build the infrastructure and movement necessary for calling the abolition of all political parties. Now, the, the overall goal, citizen ballot initiatives. Shout out to Roger Meadows. Please follow him on Twitter. Citizen ballot initiatives for the people and back. Citizen ballot initiatives. It's where we, the people, get to put in our weight, our power at the state level. 
for all sorts of things. Medicare for all, possibly. Legalization of cannabis. A woman's right to choose. Protecting our right to vote. All sorts of things. It's a whole treasure trove of things. Citizen ballot initiatives. I don't care where you stand on the political spectrum. Citizen ballot initiatives. Okay? I'm going to give a shout out to Larry Sharp. Libertarian. Different political mindset. We have disagreements here and there, but we both do agree citizen ballot initiatives are the key for the American people to use as an effective tool. And calling for the abolition of political parties at the state level is how it can be done. But running as an independent now, it's not, it's going to be a very difficult fight, especially getting ballot access. Hey, who's, who's going to have a better chance getting on the ballot? An independent candidate now has to build the infrastructure up necessary to get on the ballot or Jank Uger. Who will win? Who will win? Who will win? So let's pull up this article here from the Hill. Let's pull up this article here from the Hill and get it started because, again, it's it's not adding up. And... Again, I have to return back to that Jimmy Dore interview. Who who is advising Dr. Cornell West? Is this a, is this another Peter Dow situation? Independent presidential candidate Dr. Cornell West said Friday he is re- returned to controversial donation from Harlan Crow, the billionaire with controversial links to Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. I already read his tweet. His other tweet there as well. Uh, the news comes after West receives a three thousand three hundred dollar donation from the Republican mega donor in August, according to Federal Election Commission filings. The funds came in weeks uh, before West switched from the Green Party to an independent bid. West defended his acceptance of the contribution despite criticism. Uh, Crow has also donated to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's twenty twenty four campaign. The billionaire has been a spotlight most recently for providing flights and gifts to Thomas, uh, which were undisclosed until ProPublica uh, report made it public. Crow also paid for the house in uh, Georgia for the justice's mother. Oh, how special. Here's the article. For over 20 years, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been treated to luxury vacations by billionaire Republican donor Harlan Crow. Isn't that, is, isn't that incredible? Like, Justice Clarence Thomas is just living his best life, and this, this, this mega donor is just treating him well. You know? It's like whoever decides the fate of individual souls probably looks at one person and says, you, you alone will get all the figgy pudding. So uh, he goes on cruises. Look at that. Flies on a private jet. Oh, how sweet and special. Oh, wow. And keeps company as close powerful friends at a billionaire's private resort. Oh, oh, how I wish a hurricane would come on by. Wouldn't that be great? The extent of Crow's, uh, again, influence has never been revealed until now. Look at that. So in late June 2019, after the U.S. Supreme Court released its final opinion uh, of the term, Justice Clarence Thomas boarded a large private jet headed to Indonesia. He and his wife were going on vacation. Nine days of island hopping in a volcanic archipelago. Oh, why did those volcanoes blow up? On a super yacht staffed by Korea's attendants and a private chef. If Thomas had uh, chartered the plane and the 162 uh, yacht himself, the co- total cost of the trip would have exceeded $500,000. Fortunate for him, that wasn't necessary. He was on vacation with real estate magnate and Republican mega donor Harlan Crow, who owned the jet and the yacht too. Oh, how special. And again, this has been, this article came out April 7th of 2023, just, just, so, just so all you lovely people know. But look at all this. Everyone's living it up. So happy. And this has been going on for more than two decades. Thomas has accepted luxury trips virtually every year from the Dallas businessman without disclosing them. You know, I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to sound mean here or or or, or be, be like a jerk or anything. Cause because maybe maybe my mind is just ex- expecting the worst out of people. But somewhere in the back of my mind, am, am, am I thinking was, was Dr. Cornell West hoping to get the same kind of treatment from Harlan Crow? Type one for no, Kit. No, no, you're wrong. You're, you're, you're wrong. You're, 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 you're overthinking it. Type two, no, he probably could have been. I wonder, I wonder how the democracy in the chat will play out. I could be wrong. 
I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Because I, I, I don't want to project. I could be wrong. I'm seeing some ones in the chat. Okay. Very well done. I accept that. There's no such thing as a wrong answer. No such thing. Not for that question. Just just asking for audience feedback. And, and so this whole article goes into full detail about Harlan Crow and its connections with Justice Clarence Thomas. But I, I posted a link in the live stream chat. But it's just it's it's, it's another example of disappointment. Because the statement was terrible, mediocre in my mind. The analysis of the uh, the criticism that Dr. West got from supporters, uh, his his criticism of that, um, or, or uh, supporters who, who 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 support Dr. West, um, you know, hey, he's being called out as he should be. Uh, every single politician should be called out, especially if you take corporate PAC money, all right? Or either that, not only from corporate PAC money, but if you take money from one of these mega donors who has a long history of buying lawmakers and justices, okay? And it does raise a few red flags. I was hoping for all the best for Dr. West's campaign, but uh, his advisors, people talking to him, I would say they're leading him down the wrong path. Or is that no one knows what they're doing? Running as an independent? Fine. Is this the time to do it? No, especially when the infrastructure and foundation has not been set up. Because the only way you could really do this is if you call for the abolition of all political parties, have ranked choice voting, and so much more. But you have to do this through the state level, through citizen ballot initiatives, and only a handful of states are citizen ballot initiative states. I had a lot of hope for this 2024 election cycle, but it's becoming an ever greater disappointment. And with West kind of pushing back at his critics a little bit like this, you have to understand people have been burnt by campaigns before. And they're not falling for it again. And it's a really sad state of affairs about where this election is going and what we, who are, who are politically homeless, have to go through. I want to say that maybe someday we actually have a strong movement. But so long as there are going to be individuals and groups that are going to subvert everything and compromise everything, we're kind of on our own for a little bit. 